welcome to Conquer the Competition Series of IFT. In today's episode, we have Shweta, the national winner of Wipro Pipro competition. Let us get to know her better and also get to know what her winning mantra was for this competition. Hi, Shweta. First of all, congratulations on winning this. You have made the entire institute very proud. So how are you and what are you doing these days? Everything's good. We're in the final semester now. So Wipro was one of the last competitions that I had taken part in. And uh, yeah, it's been, go- been going great right now. Okay, great. So can you tell us more about the competition? How was it structured and what were the rounds of it? This was a case study competition by Wipro, which was launched for the first time this year. So it was quite unique in the sense that it had multiple rounds. And uh, usually in competitions, you would get to pick and choose your teammates. So this was something different wherein they formed the teams. So the first round starts with a quiz wherein uh, the question the difficulty level of the questions keeps on increasing as and in when you progress. And uh, from that, there was a shortlisted uh, set of members and uh, they had formed the groups with different people from other colleges. So you get to interact with other people from outside your college as well. And um, once you formed the once the group is formed, they gave, presented us with a case study. So the case study was more about an IIT or a software provider, wherein they were looking to venture into two different kinds of businesses. So we had to come up with a business case as to support which of the um, parts the company should choose. So that was the case study presented. And uh, we had the the first round, we had to submit a presentation deck and uh, followed by again a shortlist wherein we had to present it to a panel. Then there was another round of shortlist wherein the final round took place. And then uh, uh, the final jury evaluated us. There was a QA and a round followed by that. And uh, that is how the overall competition was structured. Okay, that sounds amazing. Now coming to the presentation, making PPT, which is the most important part of a competition. So when you make a PPT, what are the important things that you keep in your mind while making it? So uh, there are two types of presentation, right? Like the submission deck and the presentation deck. So when you're in the initial rounds of the competition, when you're uh, giving a submission deck, right? What you want the jury to see is that you have put in the hard work and you've covered the ground and you have done a lot of research on the topic. You would want to showcase that. And of course, your idea or the solution that you're providing should also stand out very clearly. So your slides, basically, uh, the basics are covered that they should look presentable. But apart from that, uh, the point is that you need to show in the effort that you've put in as well and cover all the points that you want to show to the jury so that they understand your perspective. When when we're talking about the presentation deck, what is very important is that though you're showing all the points on the slide, you should be very clear with the key takeaway from every uh, slide that you're presenting to the jury. What happens is that you tend to put in a lot of information. Even when you do that, if your delivery is clear, right, they will be able to understand what exactly you're trying to convey to them. And another important aspect is that you should cover end to end. Like, say, for example, any case study you're taking, the financial marketing or uh, uh, the IT side, every aspect of it should be covered holistically so that the the jury is not uh, having many questions to ask you in the end. So you cover everything in the time frame itself which is presented to you okay being very clear and concise is the key takeaway while making a presentation so coming to the presentation rounds what does the jury look for exactly what they look in your answers when you're answering to them when you're you'll be usually given a presentation time. So apart from that, when they come to the Q&A, what they're basically looking for is uh, how prompt you are with your answers and how you're able to back up the answers which you're giving with relevant data on the on the spot, right? So that is something that they'll be testing you on. And also when you're giving an- answers, right, when you're going in as a team, so the best way to tackle them is that each of you know your area of expertise. And depending on what is a question being asked, it is better that one person takes it up and answer if it falls under their expertise. So what happens is that in the online scenario, you don't get a chance to discuss much with your teammates when the question is being asked. So if you divide it clearly, there's no clash and you are also covered on all bases. So that is how the, it goes on the when the jury presentation and all that, the quick Q&A which happens. Okay. So now that we've talked about expertise in a team, so how do you make a team? So what is that one factor that you look for that is definitely to be considered while making a team? Um, when you're forming a team, you would always want to cover all the bases and uh, your 
strengths are complementing each other and all the uh, areas are covered but in this particular case study competition it was unique like i had earlier mentioned right we weren't given the choice of selecting the team so we had to work with the team that was given to us and these were completely new people that we had to interact with so um how we went about is that uh, we first got to know each other and it was all virtual again and uh, we first started uh, putting forth our viewpoints based on our primary uh, secondary research that we had done and then understood what each one's strength is and then we tried to divide the work and then you know um uh, you know, divide the work and then come up with our ideas and solutions so on in a collaborative manner so getting the right team is important but in this case when we were given the team we had to come up with a way in order to collaborate and work together as well okay oh, that was an insightful answer so the last is the final question what is that one thing that you have to make sure while giving a presentation in the presentation rounds um one thing is that i would whenever we are presenting i would always want to come up with a key takeaway which is always present in the particular slide i'm presenting so that the jury if they look at the slide they understand that this is what i'm trying to convey from the slide so that is something that is very important and of course the way you tell it the story line that you have to build up in your presenting that is very important because that is what keeps the audience engaged and it becomes very confusing for them as well if you throw random information uh, at them so it's always important to have a story line in place and go along with that so that they get the flow and what you're trying to convey okay thank you so much veta for your time this was indeed very insightful and it was amazing to know your journey in this competition so the key takeaways that you've given one to be very clear and concise in in your presentation so that the jury exactly understands what the idea is to to make a team that is diverse and you complement each other's strengths and third to have a clear demarcation of who takes what part of the question during the presentation rounds in the question and answer session so these were the key takeaways and we are really glad to know all of these and i'm really sure that the students will be able to make use of these insights and do well in their competitions as they come and participate so thank you so much